Hi guys, I've been looking at the new audio bus remote and how LoopTree can work in the background using the remote. So my aim was to give you the full power of LoopTree's recording and layers, but within the remote. Let me show you what I've got so far and then I'd be really interested to hear your feedback. So I've duplicated the track controls, record, toggle and clear. And I've also duplicated the tracks area. So you can see your selected tracks in the remote, but you can also use the remote to make a selection. So with three empty tracks selected, I'd expect to be able to make a chained recording. So you can see the colors correspond to the colors in the app and I can select a track. So let's select a single track and make a layered recording. And then as you can in the app, you can double tap on the remote and dive into the layer, change the settings within the layer, come out again. And then we've also added this new feature. So if you don't have any tracks selected, you used not to be able to record, but we've now made it so that you can record and it will just gradually fill up the remaining empty tracks. So if I hit rec, So it's a bit like chained recording, except that with chained recording, you just go from recording the first track to the next to the next, and then maybe have the overdub step on the final track. Whereas when you're recording without a selection, you go through the full record, overdub, play, record, overdub, play for each track that you go through. So in playing around with this, I found what works really well is to record the first track in the UI where you have no latency on the record button, or to use the metronome or audio pace to make a reference track. And then the remote is really good for recording subsequent tracks where the latency doesn't matter so much. But there are still two areas of this audio bus integration that I want to look at. One is with quantizing. So if I turn the quantize options on, when you're recording in the app, you get this nice indicator so it shows you how much time you have left before the recording is going to start. But in the remote, when you do the same thing, you just see that the record indicator shows in, in yellow, and then it starts recording, but it doesn't say when it's going to start recording. And I'd ideally like to give you some indication of when that's going to start recording. And the other thing I want to think more about is when you're not using the remote with audio bus. And so there I'm thinking maybe we'll just have the record trigger and it will in fact ignore whatever tracks you had selected in the app and just do this behavior of filling up the empty tracks with each time you press rec. And in that way, you wouldn't need to know which tracks are selected and you wouldn't need to worry about leaving one track selected and making layered recordings when it was in the background. So that's what we've got at the moment. I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts and I'm looking forward to getting this into the app for real. Thanks for watching.